People use the memorial field at Chart Sutton every day for organised sports and also just for fun. They also use the pavilion's changing rooms. It looks shabby from the outside, but it's when you venture inside that the appalling state of the building is revealed. The ceiling and roof are completely rotten, there are gaping holes in it, and it's covered with a thick layer of mould. There's no question that the pavilion has reached the end of its life. As, as you know, the FATE committee last year, they painted it out on the inside, they, don't, they made efforts. But despite all that, all this mould has come back, all the damp has come back. The whole thing about it is it's, it's done 50, 60 years of service. It's done a fantastic job. But now, we, we people of Charles Sutton and, and, and around deserve better. The pavilion and field were formally opened on Coronation Day in 1953 by Lord Cornwallis. It was a proud day for the village and the building quickly became a focal point for the community, as well as a way of remembering local people who had given their lives in two world wars. Among the crowd on Coronation Day were Arthur Mercer and his father who lived in the village. Arthur, seen here fundraising at the village fete in 2008, was passionate that a new pavilion should be built on the field so that future generations could use and enjoy it. The new pavilion will be far more than a sports changing room. It will be space that will become a focus for community activities. The central room has been specifically designed to accommodate meetings, children's parties and playgroups, youth clubs and village events for young and old. The pavilion and amenities committees have set themselves an ambitious fundraising target. And thanks to the energy and dedication of local people, a number of events have already taken place to boost the fund and also help bring the community together in a common cause. The summer fete in 2008 was the most successful the village has ever seen and other events have included quizzes, jumble sales, Saturday markets, dances and an Easter egg hunt for village children. But to make the fundraising successful, significantly more money is needed. So where will it come from? That's the challenge for local fundraisers, and they admit it won't be easy. What we've got to do is hope in this difficult climate that we can these all come together. But it will be a tough call because there'll be lots of little pockets of money trying to draw them down at the same time. In 2007, Chart Sutton lost its post office and shop. A severe blow to a small rural community which has had a village shop at its heart for generations. But local people have worked hard to keep a sense of community alive. Events such as the Christmas party still take place to bring people together and to ensure that Chart Sutton remains a real village and not just a collection of houses. And that's why a new pavilion is important, to help act as a focal point for the community that we live in. Sadly, Arthur Mercer didn't live to see his dream of a new pavilion fulfilled. He died in March 2009. After his death, the parish council decided that the new building will be named in his memory because of his tireless work for the fund and a lifetime dedicated to Chart Sutton. And he, and he was ju just such a lovely man. And I feel like saying to him, you know, do you mind, when we've done it, Arthur, do you mind if I just break your peace for a few minutes and just tell you how wonderful it is? <laughs> and then you can go back and enjoy the peace that you so deserve. <laughs>